Hi everyone, Mike from the Excel Trainer here. Last week on one of my data viz courses, I was showing sparkline charts. Now, if you're not familiar with sparklines, they're miniature charts and unlike normal charts, they're embedded inside a single cell. Sparklines are actually ideal to use in dashboards and reports where you might not want your charts to take up a large amount of screen real estate. Excel lets you create three types of sparkline chart line charts and column charts and win-loss charts. Now, line charts and column charts are pretty self-explanatory, but what's a win-loss chart? Where would you use one and how do you create one? In this video, I'll be answering those questions. If you want to follow along, you can download a copy of the demo file from the link in the description below. Here's an example of a win-loss chart. In fact, this sheet contains five sparkline charts, one per cell in the range H4 to H8. The cells in columns C to G contain numbers. The win-loss charts represent those numbers. Positive numbers are displayed in one colour, in this example green, and are aligned to the top of the cell. Negative numbers are displayed in another colour, in this example red, and are aligned to the bottom of the cell. Cells that are blank or cells that contain a zero display nothing in the chart. So how do you create a win-loss chart? I could create each chart separately, but as the cells that contain the charts are in a range and I want to use the same colours, I'll create a group of win-loss sparkline charts. I start by selecting the numbers, clicking on insert, and over towards the right hand side of the ribbon, there is a sparklines button. This is Excel for the Mac. It's very, very similar on Excel for Windows. Select the win loss from the list. It's already picked up where the data is. That's the range I've got highlighted. I need to say where I want to place the sparklines. Now I'm going to place them in column H, but they can be placed anywhere. They don't have to be directly next to the numbers they're representing. So I'll select the five cells. I need to make sure I select five cells because I've selected five rows of data and click OK. It's using default colors. So I want to change those colors. If I click on H4, it actually selects all the sparkline charts because I created them as a group, they're treated as a group. So I've only needed to select H4 and on the sparkline ribbon, I will change the color of the positives by going to the sparkline color and choosing a color. I'm going to go for green and I'll change the color of the negatives by going to mark a color negative points and I'll choose red. Finally, I'm going to hide the columns with the numbers in. They don't need to be displayed. So I'm going to select column C to G and just hide those columns. The problem we now have is that by default with sparkline charts and in fact any chart, standard charts in Excel, is if you hide the rows or columns that contain the source data for the charts, it hides the charts themselves. To solve that problem, select the cells with the sparkline charts in, go to the sparkline ribbon, click on the drop down next to edit data and select hidden and empty cells and show data in hidden rows and columns. So did you find that video useful? If you did, please give it a like. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you want to keep up to date with what I'm up to, sign up for my weekly newsletter and you can do that at theexceltrainer.co.uk. But until the next time, have an excellent day.